Hi, and welcome back to MyExcelOnline.com. Today, we are going to start our PowerPoint series with an introduction to Microsoft PowerPoint. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. You might be wondering right now, what is Microsoft PowerPoint? Microsoft PowerPoint is Microsoft's version of a presentation software that you can find within Office 365 or any other bundle of Microsoft Office. In fact, if you have past files of Microsoft PowerPoint presentations, you will be able to view those inside of Microsoft 365 or any other later version of Microsoft PowerPoint can open earlier versions of past Microsoft PowerPoint presentations. So once I have Office installed on my computer, how do I go about finding PowerPoint? My first option is to go here to my start bar and just scroll down to PowerPoint. Or I may have a shortcut icon on my taskbar after I installed Microsoft Office. Or I could just go down here to the search bar, start typing in PowerPoint. This is the icon for it, whatever way you choose to get to it. So just click on that and that will launch Microsoft PowerPoint. So when I first enter PowerPoint, I have several options. I can see files that I have recently opened down here, or I can go to the pinned menu. And these are different presentations that I've been working on that I decided to pin for quicker access. So the way I can pin a file is if I go back to recent and I go down here to this little pin, if I click on it and then go over here to pinned, I can see that I have put a couple files that I want to be able to quickly access on my pinned menu. If I would like to get rid of those, I can just click this, click this, and they will no longer appear on my pinned menu. So this is just a quick, easy way to get the files that you wanna use often. Another option I have in this menu is I can go to open, and I can see the files that I've been working on relatively recently, whether or not it was today or some older files, or I can hit browse, and I can get to any files I can find on my computer that I've saved previously. Or I could go to my OneDrive and I will be able to open up some files that perhaps other people have shared with me. And I can also go to the new button right here. And I can either start a blank presentation, which we'll do in a few minutes, or I can look down here and I can see that there are several templates available. So if I would like my presentation to be made rather quickly, and I like any of these templates down here, I could just click on one and I could edit that template. So what if I clicked on this one right here? I can just hit create and you can see that that template has been applied and I could just go down here and edit the text and customize it to my needs. But if I go back to the file menu, I would like to start this tutorial by going to a blank presentation. So once I'm inside of PowerPoint, there are a few things I wanna go over with you first. Up here, across the top, you will see all these different tabs, Home, Insert, Draw, Design, Transitions, etc. And every time I click on one of these tabs, you will see that my options below here are changing. The options that are listed below here are on something which is known as the ribbon. So this is the Home ribbon, this is the Insert ribbon, this is the Draw ribbon. If I go back to the Home ribbon, I can see that there are groups within the ribbon. So Microsoft has tried to group together like functionality in groups on the ribbon. So right here, if I go to clipboard, I can see that there's different ways to paste. I can also see that the copy is grayed out right now because I haven't selected anything, but my copy tool, my cut tool, my paste tool are all available on the clipboard. If I go to my slides, these are different options that I have for slides, etc. So what I have here in front of me is what is known as a slide. And I only have one slide right now over here on the left that tells you how many slides I have. And a group of slides together is what is known as a presentation within Microsoft PowerPoint. So on each slide, I have the option to click here to add a title. So I'm just going to put new presentation. And down here I can click to add a subtitle and I'm just going to put slide one. So this is going to be the first slide of my new presentation. If I would like to add another slide to my presentation, I have a few options to do that. I can right click here and I can go to new slide and you can see that there is a new format now because this is no longer the title slide. This is a slide within my presentation. So I can click here to add the title and then I can also click down here and I get a bullet pointed list 
of different topics that I might like to present. So I could just put topic one, topic two, topic three. If I would like to follow the same format with my next slide, I can right click on the slide and go to duplicate slide. And you will see when I'm on the third slide, it's identical to the second slide. So I could just edit this here and maybe say topic four, topic five, topic six. I can also change the order of my slides. If I click on this slide here and I just drag up, you can see that I can reorder my slides if I'm adding new ones or I would just like to rearrange all of them. If I don't like the way this slide is laid out, I can right click and I can go to layout and you can see I have all these different options that I can use for my slides. I can use just a title only, I can break this up into different columns, or I can keep what was the default for this one, which was the title and content underneath. So this is just a quick way to change the layout and the look of your slide. Okay, so now I'm looking at my presentation and it looks rather boring. So if I go up here to design ideas, I can see that PowerPoint has taken what I've already put onto this slide and it's given me some options of how I can make my presentation look a little more pleasing to the eye. If you are liking this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get notified when we release our weekly videos. So let's scroll through a few of these and maybe select this one right here. You can see how fast it is to change the design of your slide and make it look a lot better. I could go to this slide down here too and I could apply that same design to this one as well. And if I click the top one, I would like to something that sort of matches this. So maybe I could just click this one right here. So now my slideshow looks a little more consistent and a little more professional. Now if I right click this one and I go to duplicate slide, I can see that new formatting has been added. But I can also delete some of these topics off of here by selecting the rectangle and just hitting delete on my keyboard. So if on here, I could go up to the insert menu and I can insert a picture. For now, I'm just going to go down to stock images and I'm just going to say my presentation is about blueberries and insert that picture. And you can see that if I get this double sided arrow up here on the corner, I can just resize this picture and then I can click on it and move it and drag it to wherever I would like for it to be on the screen. And with my design window open, you can see that there's a consistent design over here with the picture that I have just added. So if I like the way this looks right here, I could maybe have some topics on blueberries and this changed my image right here to be rounded so it looks a lot better. I could say picking, baking, and perhaps freezing and that could be part of my presentation on blueberries. So let's look at a few other tips to make this slideshow a little bit more exciting. So now if I go up here to the slideshow ribbon, I have some options to watch the slideshow that I've created so far. Remember, a slideshow shows your presentation and remember your presentation is just a collection of slides that you have put together. So if I go to from beginning, you can see that my first slide has come up on the screen. So I have a few options to get to the next slide. First I'm going to hit enter. I can also hit the down arrow or I can also just click on the screen. And then if I advance to the next slide, you can see that I'm at the end of my slideshow. So I can either hit the down arrow again or hit escape. But before we finish up today, I would like to show you just a few more exciting things you can do to your slides. Let's look at the transition tab. And I'm going to go back to the beginning of my slideshow by clicking on the first slide. And I'm just going to select fade. On the second one, I will do push, uncover for slide three. And on the fourth one for fun, let's just do this origami one. So let's watch the slideshow one more time. So there's the fading, there's the pushing, there's the uncovering, and then there's the origami. One more option you can do if I click on the second slide is I can even have an effect for each one of my topics. I'm going to hit topic one, and for this one, I'm going to put fade. In my effect option, I'm going to select one by one. So you can sort of get a preview of what's going to happen. So if I go back here to my slideshow, I am looking at my new presentation. If I hit the down arrow, you can see that topic one has come up. And if I hit the down arrow again, I don't advance to the next slide this time. You can see my sub information for topic one coming up. If I hit the down arrow again, topic two comes up, followed by a box about topic two. If I hit the down arrow again, topic three comes up, followed by a box about topic three. And then when I hit the down arrow again, I will advance to the next slide. So I can hit escape to exit that at any time. One final thing, go to the file menu and you can save this presentation. 
You can either save it to your OneDrive or browse to save it somewhere on your computer. You can print certain slides. By default, you will be printing all slides, but you can go down here just like printing a page in Microsoft Word, and you can print the current slide or a custom range of slides. You can also export this presentation to a PDF or create a video from it or even create handouts for your viewers to follow along when you're giving your presentation. And then to get back to PowerPoint, you can just click this left arrow up here. So hopefully that was a good introduction for you for Microsoft PowerPoint. Let us know in the comments below some of the presentations that you may be creating and if you have any questions on those. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you again next time. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're really serious about advancing your Microsoft Excel skills so you can stand out from the crowd and get the jobs, promotion and pay rises that you deserve then click up here and join our academy online course today